What is going on Speed Champion fans? We have another off-brand Lego set, Speed Champion replica vehicle here. Um, not an official Lego product. This is a Lamborghini. I bought this vehicle off eBay and it didn't specify what kind of Lamborghini it was. So um, yeah, nonetheless, we have a Lamborghini. But before we begin reviewing this vehicle, thank you guys for 900 subscribers. You guys know I read your comments. I like them. I respond to them. Thank you for the support, guys. And um, let's just go ahead and continue to grow together and let's proceed into this review. Now with this Lamborghini with the front headlights, they, um, as you guys know, the Lamborghinis, they have like this lightning bolt type look to the headlight design. And with these headlights, the way they try to pull it off with that design was with some cleared out Lego minifigure hands. We'll use, we'll say the word Lego in this case, because you know, it's just a lot easier that way. But yeah, they used minifigure hands to replicate that lightning bolt type look. And then you have your Lamborghini sticker here with the bull on it and let me just get the instructions booklet so i can show you what i'm talking about they just came with too many figures if this can focus uh 368 pieces up here but um you can see how they try to pull off the headlight design there but um yeah you guys can take a look at it the only four the only studs that are showing are these four studs the two on the windscreen and the two back here other than that they did a pretty good job of smoothing out, giving it that sleek look, making it smooth out. Um, yeah, it's just those four studs showing. Now, looking at the side profile, you can kind of see how it swoops down. Pretty cool, sleek and look. Got your big old air intake right here and then your engine detail back in there, in which they do give you a engine detail and we will be taking a look at that as well. Let me remove the windscreen you got the, oh, this piece came loose in here. Let me put this back in the spot. But you got the leather interior, brown leather interior. Sting, steering wheel does seem to be pretty hard to turn. Seats too many figures, and I will go ahead and throw them in there just for the sake of showing you guys. Let me just grab this Lamborghini. Oh, so it is a, this is a Lego, official Lego minifigure. Grab you, and then grab this, the McLaren, my McLaren Senna minifigure both of her hands got to be up for her to fit and let's just put the windscreen back on and another thing you can see this whole color scheme does seem to be a lime green and whereas the one the print on the windscreen seems to be a more darker darker type green so yeah it's not really matching there but if you can live with it then it's no big deal Big old air intake. I think I pointed that pointed that out already. And then we gotta remove these one by six tiles here to get access to the engine. In which before I remove the cover, you do get a glimpse. They give you a one by a uh, two by two flat tile piece right here. And you can kind of get a glimpse of the red cylinder heads down in there if you can see it. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up well, but I can see it. Um two cylinder heads, and let's just go ahead and pop off these louver type build right here it's gonna pop off as one assembly like so and here goes your v8 engine detail not a v10 not a v12 like we suspect in a lamborghini but they give you a v8 engine detail tucked down under there and uh sucks that you can't really see it i wish these were like at least this piece this one was more cleared out as well so that we can see the engine but it's no big deal as long as you know it's there and another thing guys um with this brand, it's not really a brand because, you know, it's not Lego or nothing. But with this, we'll just say with this brand, um, if they don't give you an engine detail, they give you opening doors. In which this case, this Lamborghini does not have opening doors, but they gave you an engine detail. Now, with the Porsche 911 3.0 Turbo 8 stud wide version, off-brand Lego said I, that I recently reviewed on my channel, they don't give you opening doors. I mean, <laughs> they don't give you a, a engine detail, but they do give you opening doors. So I guess it's kind of a trade-off there. I mean they give you one thing or the, if not the other if um they can't give you one they will give you the other but nonetheless i appreciate it we all appreciate it of course i mean that's more than what lego gives us lego doesn't give us any type of feature whether it's opening doors engine detail or uh etc hood you know trunk whatever toss these louvers back on and let's grab these one by six tiles so we can put it back in their position and then here's a little rear side profile shot 
And then here's the rear. And you know, with Lamborghini, they have their sequential tail lights pointing in one direction. Whether it's the left, the direction is going to be pointing left. And then if it's the right, the arrows are going to be pointing right. And they try to pull it off with these just one by one studs all about in the middle. You got three of them on each side. That's your tail lights. And then your exhaust tips down there. And just to give you a look around the Lamborghini. There it is, guys. So what do you think of this vehicle? With it being all smoothed out, is it a clean look? I agree. I, I'm going to go ahead and say my opinion. It is a it is a clean look. A sleek looking car. But then again, this is a Lamborghini. So they probably had to pull it off like that. I also like how the front windshield, like, it lines up. It's just some, something satisfying about building it. How the windscreen lines up with these flat tiles. But, um, yeah, guys, uh, what do you think of this vehicle? Thank you once again for the achievement of 900 subscribers. And I got another off-brand vehicle that I'm going to be building and reviewing. So stay tuned for that. And we will see you guys in the next one.